Hi there kids, this is Ivan again. I'd like to talk to you about NPCs, non-player characters. They don't play fair, at least not in my game. First off, I think you're missing out if you don't play some of the non-traditional, non-PC races as non-player characters that are actually class. You're missing out if you're not playing some goblin wizards, some 7th level kobold thieves that can steal stuff from the party, and some lizard man assassins. These are really fun things. I really encourage you to do stuff like that and kind of think outside the box. I know a lot of you do, but some people don't. They get really bogged down in the rules, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Now, I don't stat NPCs unless I really need to. You know, it just doesn't seem like it's worth the effort, you know. NPCs not only have 10.5 in every single ability score, unless I say otherwise, like it needs, you know, they're a fighter, maybe they all have 15 in case, and unless otherwise stated. If I need some kind of score, I'll make it up when I get there. And it doesn't matter if it's Joe the Butcher or the Captain of the Guard, you know, Joe the Butcher could be a lot more important in one game than the Captain of the Guard in the other game. Yeah, they'll get statted out as needed. You know, the more important people, I will certainly stat out more. I'll know what their armor class is, their hit points, and what kind of spells they have, different abilities or whatnot. But I'm not going to go crazy because you may work on a lot of people and, and never use them, and it's just not worth the effort. Uh, now, NPCs don't play by the rules, at least not in my game. Um, they can have skills from various classes. They can have some pretty weird attacks. They can have some pretty neat abilities. They can have some abilities that just nobody's ever heard of. Now, I don't do this to be um, unfair. I don't do this to try to kill the party. I don't do this to be mean. I do this in the name of fun, because I think as a player, having NPCs like that thrown at me is fun. And as a DM, it's kind of fun to surprise the party and pull some unexpected stuff. You know, these NPCs may have magic or abilities that the players just aren't aware of. They don't know what it is. They may, may or may not have, ever have access to it. Now, to me, part of that is to getting the vibe of, like, you know, your favorite book or story or something like that. Not that games and books do a really good job of emulating each other. And I, you know, I've read books based on games that really sucked. And I've played some games and looked at some games that were based on books that really sucked. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the basic vibe of the villain, which is just, you know, the parties or, the, you know, the adventurers, whoever they are, going up against these people against incredible odds. They don't even understand half of what these people can do. And they're able to make it. They're big heroes at the end. And to me, this is a lot more fun than going up and playing against a stat block. And figuring, okay, well, this guy's a 10th level wizard. He probably has this, this, and this. These are his saves. That, just not as fun for me as having something that's really weird and unexpected. You know, as a player, I don't want to be thinking like a gamer and thinking like, uh, you know, this guy's a stat block. You know, one of the most fun things that's happened to me in a while is I'm playing in a, like an online campaign, but uh, there's these really powerful guys. We don't know too much about them. They're called the Black Cloaks or whatever. We did some kind of favor for um, a 20th level wizard. You know, we, it was an adventure, you know. And, you know, at the end, you know, he decided to do us a favor after he rewarded us and stuff, and, you know, he was going to look at his crystal ball for us for some stuff that we needed. And we said, hey, you know, could you check out these guys, these black cloaks, tell us anything about them? And so he does his little mumbo-jumbo, and he's, like, you know, trying to look in the crystal ball. And he's, like, all of a sudden he steps back, and he's grabbing his head, and he's like, oh, how can they resist my power? Who, who are these people? And that, to me, is cool, because we're all sitting around going, who are these guys? And that's a heck of a lot more fun than them being a stat block and playing by the same rules that I do.